just two house explosions in Baltimore County in 24 hours, the latest one less than an hour ago. Right now, crews are on the scene in Locker, and one home is leveled. Surrounded homes are damaged. WJZ has the developing details. Devin Bartola is on the ground in Locker. Chopper 13 over the scene with the response from fire crews underway right now. And Rick Ritters in the Baltimore Highlands with more on yesterday's explosion there. We're going to start with Devin. Hi there, Mary. People in this neighborhood say that this explosion felt like an earthquake around 2:15 this afternoon. We're on the 7400 block of Ramore Avenue in Locker, just inside the Beltway, where a house has exploded. This is a two-alarm situation, and more than 100 firefighters are on the scene here. At least six houses have been damaged in all, and the debris field stretches the length of the street here. When crews arrived, the house to the left of the house that exploded was up in. In flames. Windows are blown out in cars and in homes here. Siding is strong all over the street, and there are parts of the exploded home hanging from trees on this road. Amazingly, no injuries have been reported, and firefighters tell us this house was vacant at the time of the explosion. And I looked, the house was there, and then there was this explosion, boom, and the house literally flattened to the ground. I thought I had a heart attack. It scared me. It scared me. I tried to call 911 first, and then I called my husband. It was, it's just ridiculous. Right now, firefighters are going door to door checking air quality and for damage on a lot of the homes here. They say that the road closures in this area will likely affect rush hour, but they are trying very quickly to clean up some of this scene and shrink the scene as much as possible. For now, in Locker, and I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ. Back to you. Devin, thank you. Let's turn now to Captain Jeff Long and Chopper 13 over the scene with more. Jeff, what a scene of devastation. This is incredible, the amount of destruction uh, from this explosion. You can see the fire department down there beginning their investigation right now. Where they are standing is where the house used to stand. There is not a single vertical part of that house left, completely leveled. The house on both sides damaged. One of them damaged from the explosion. The other one actually caught on fire after the explosion. So when the fire department arrived here, they had to deal with that fire in addition to trying to figure out how this explosion happened. You can see the immediate debris field extends across the road, but as you start to go out wider, you can start to see that there is debris on most of the houses in this neighborhood within a block. So it'll give you an idea of how big that explosion is. Now to give you an idea of how big the uh, response is, the explosion uh, happened right there at the top of your screen. The fire department runs up and down uh, the streets adjacent to that, all the way down to Liberty Road. Now they have been able to get the fire department off of Liberty Road. That was a primary staging area when we arrived earlier. They've managed to clear that so that traffic can get through. But the uh, road, um, which is uh, Croyton Road, that feeds this neighborhood, that it remains shut down and will remain shut down until they uh, are able to ensure that this area is safe. So coming around to the other side here, you get another idea of just how big this uh, debris field is, and it's uh, pretty amazing to think that there once was a house there. Reporting live from Chopper 13, I'm Captain Jeff Long. Back to you.